The frontier, a vast region of the universe where the stars themselves bear witness to an ageless conflict. The Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation, with its insatiable hunger for dominion, continues its ruthless assault on the colonies scattered about the edges of known space. The freedom that once defined the frontier now hangs by a thread. Amidst the chaos, the Special Recon Squadron, known as the SRS, took a stand against the IMC. Some called it heroism, and others called it terrorism, but they succeeded in destroying the cataclysmic fold weapon along with the planet Typhon. Since then, the galaxy has been torn between condemnation and admiration. The names Jack Cooper and Sarah Briggs are whispered from planet to planet, wanted for their crimes against the mighty IMC. The heroes of yesterday now stand accused, their fates uncertain in an unforgiving universe. In the core worlds where civilization was once a beacon of hope, survival has become a desperate struggle. Resources dwindle, and long shadows have been cast upon once thriving cities. Humanity's future has never been so uncertain. Yet, amidst the turmoil, one corporation clamors above the rest. Hammond Robotics, fueled by avarice and ambition, seeks new technology to harvest the very lifeblood of the frontier. Their insidious pursuit of power and profit may hold the key to humanity's salvation or its ultimate demise. Now the line between man and machine has become inextricably blurred. Titans and pilots clash in a dance of steel and spirit. And the question lingers. Will the spark of humanity endure? Or will it be extinguished in the cold depths of space? The saga unfolds and the frontier awaits its reckoning.
never take the frontier. We will stop you. What does one do when a snake strikes their heel? Sir, uh, our event concluded 32 hours ago. All IMC forces on Typhon have expired. The core worlds will lose faith in us. Faith unhinged is stoked by fear. Typhon has just been crucified by those who turned their backs on the homes from which they ventured. The core worlds do not need to believe in us. They need to stand for justice. It certainly seems to be one of the very few options. But options, nonetheless. Do you have faith, Solis? I'm not materialistic, Pyrus. You know this. The IMC, the militia, these worlds. We're but a particle of dust in the room we call time. You know where my loyalties lie. But my faith in any of it? Faith in any of this is futile once we're all gone. So you believe in nothing? I, I believe in the stars. An ancient manuscript describes the stars as grains of sand, countless and measurable. Yet they provide life and navigation. Our exploration of the heavens has failed to answer the formation of the cosmos. But I'd like to believe that the stars are beyond our understanding, the remnants of some sort of sacrifice larger than ourselves. Your worldview has certainly changed. Do you consider yourself religious? Something to that effect. I consider myself human. Some might question that your reputation differs from your beliefs. Reputation is perceived over time. It took a number of years, but I've learned to restrain my emotions when the fight is necessary. Maybe one of these days I'll join you in the ranks. <laughs> Not sure you'd enjoy the air from up here. Things are more complex than what we had joined up. And you believe the war zone is any less toxic? You've been of great service to the IMC, Solis. Do you think you're ready to make the decision that will dictate the outcome of this war? I think I make more of those decisions every day that I'm on the ground following your orders, Commander Pyrus. Sure. I've got an assignment for you back in Angel City. A new pilot. Young, vibrant, a lot like you used to be. Name is Gila Casanova. Came over as a refugee about 17 years back. Lots of potential, but she needs training from the best. I can't do that, Pyrus. I've seen too many young souls lost to this war. And if my reputation truly precedes me, Maybe we shouldn't pass that brutality on to those who will inherit this conflict. This isn't another favor that I'm asking for. It's coming directly from the top. The IMC wants to end this war and leave the frontier. We just need to secure our resources. But along with that, we're going to need more pilots. The best pilots. Seems counterintuitive to de-escalating aggression. Does this not seem cautionary enough? The SRS rebels just used the fold weapon to destroy an, an entire planet. The fold weapon that we built. The IMC would do anything to protect the core worlds. The Ark, the fold weapon, it's all a piece in the bigger picture of saving our home. If I train this pilot, what's in it for me? Take her under your wing and get her G-12 certified. Then I will see about getting you promoted to Lieutenant Commander. I can work with that.
six months of training and you're still trying that move. I like the EMP tech. It's got practical application. Knowing your opponent will serve you better than tech. Speaking of tech, you abandon Manfield. Again, never leave your Titan. It'll never leave you. If the Titan knows you're in danger by being in or around it, it'll get you to safety. Trust between you and Manfield is the key to being one with each other. I know, I know. Sorry about that, Manfield. You cannot apologize to a simulation. We will do better and have you ready for the battlefield, Pilot Casanova. <laughs> so, how did you get Edith to fight with you like that? She obviously wanted me looking into the cockpit. Many years of training and many more of combat. Edith and I have been through it all. She lost her chassis protecting me on Demeter. Strider Titans were something else. Fast, modular, full manual control. But the IMC saw it more fit to get an upgraded chassis. I've added some personal touches to her though. Still love her just the same. The neural link that I share with Solis has a yearly increase of 200%. When we are working together, our minds act in oneness within 0.044 nanoseconds of each other. When your neural link with your Titan is strong enough, battle strategies take next to zero deliberation. It's incredible how established we've become with this tech. We still have a ways to go with that, Gila. Your Holonova projection was sloppy. You need to be in distinct movement and try to cover your use with those projections. It was a dead giveaway. You're right. It's going to get better, though. I have a scheduled regen appointment later. Another regen, Gila? That's your fourth time this year. I'm a qualified candidate, and it's scientifically proven to be safe. It's also scientifically proven to deteriorate your mind. By deteriorate, do you mean sharpen? Losing your ability to feel emotion doesn't make you a better decision maker on the battlefield. I still don't understand why you're so against it. It just uses the nanite tech already in us. Thinking that was the first mistake I made many years ago. You know, they are trying to make it mandatory for all pilots. So you might as well, right? I'm sure an exception will be made for the IMC's longest standing pilot. Well, you could stand even longer if you do a regeneration. Not to mention when you die, you can keep on living in another body for, well, forever. Honey, when I die, I plan on being dead forever. Solis, mission briefing at 13.30. Time to knock off the war games. We are headed into the real thing. Gila, go get checked for inventory and regeneration so that we can get you relinked to your tank. All right, you go get ready. I'll speak with Pyrus. This is it. All the training has come to this. Hey, you're gonna do great out there, kid. I'm really proud of you. All right, go get him. I'll see you on the ground. Go. At ease. I may still be your boss, but you are in the company of a friend. Just keeping things professional. Aw, you kept it. Well, let's continue to keep things professional. <clears throat> we are taking the IMC Intrepid to the planet Malkia. It is a bountiful planet in the same ecosystem as Typhon. The organic growth there is three times what Earth was 400 years ago. We started setting up outposts there to harvest what we can from Typhon, the remnants of the foal weapon, and prepared to dock our new ML-7000 harvester, courtesy of our friends over at Hammond Robotics. A few weeks ago, 
some of our favorite terrorists showed up. Sarah Briggs and Jack Cooper. So after destroying Typhon, they're trying to recover more of our tech? It seems likely. And with the core worlds threatening to cut off our funding, we can't afford to let them use another weapon and we need to start producing results. Our advance needs to be low profile and fast. You and Gila will hunt down and kill both Sarah Briggs and Jack Cooper. Do this and I can clear you up for that promotion. You keep raising that bar, huh? I'm doing the best I can, Solis. If your skills and emotional tests were on par with each other, you could have been in my seat by now. So that's what they teach you in officer school, huh? Let's get back on task. You will receive markers on our intel as to the whereabouts of Cooper and Briggs that we know of. It will be your duty to search those areas and find your targets. Any outposts or colonies you encounter should be turned over to the IMC before harvesting begins. And where will I tell the civilians that they'll be relocated to? No. You have to. I'll work on it. When I say funding is low, I mean very low. The core worlds are now fearful of anyone on the frontier. Our planets are dying, and the frontier, the land we populated, has the resources to fix it. Back home, the people only see the frontier's people as terrorists and barbarians. And if we are going to end this war, perhaps it's time we did too. Every civilian I encounter will be relocated. Okay. Good. Hey, you drop this. There you go, kid. Thank you, sir. But I thought you weren't supposed to talk to us. Really? Well, who told you that? A boy from class. He says that if the IMC talks to you, they... They what? They have to kill you. Well, that sounds rather ridiculous, don't you think? Yes. Yes, it does. I didn't believe it, but... It can be hard to understand when we show up in your backyard, huh? Yeah. I understand, kiddo. Trust me, huh? I don't really want to be here myself. I've got my own kids at home. Where is your home? Angel City. It's a long ways from here. I heard of that place in school. It's a nice place to live. Do you know why we're here? They say you're going to destroy our planet. They? You mean the boy? No. Everyone. Most everyone, that is. My mom doesn't think so, but almost everyone in the colony does. I can see why they would think that. It could be scary to have us just show up unannounced, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I understand. We're back on Angel City. We're scared too. You see, our planets aren't doing as well as yours. A long time ago, even before I was born, the IMC sent many brave adventurers out to discover the frontier's resources and save our planet. It's been a lot of work. But we're only going to get what we need. And then your home will go back to exactly the way it was. Do you promise? I promise. What's your name, kiddo? My name is Gila. Gila Casanova. Nice to meet you, Gila. I'm Nadim.
Hey, kid. You ready to do this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, this regen just caused some lapses. I'm ready. Hey, Gila. You're on me. We've got this. That's it. Come on. Let's go. Pilot secure. Repairing all units for Titanfall. Stand Ready clear of drop pads. Go, go, go. Titan's inbound. Watching all units. your heel, you crush its head. No!
So, but we weren't even in it. Well, none of our scenes were in episode one. So they can kill off Sarah Briggs, but not even give us a line? Well, it's not like we're the main characters, Davis. Drows? Yeah? Is Sarah actually dead? No, of course not. It's just a movie. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But how could you be sure? Look, uh, I'll call her and prove it. All right, then. It's ringing. Oh, oh no. 